a welcome to our Eve prayer Christmas service. There's something special in uh, my heart, my mind, and probably yours too, about imagining ourselves the night before the coming of Jesus. That's what we celebrate. And of course, we know from history that Jesus had been for born for some time and the angel appears just wonderfully to his people. We are not concerned about the exact or precise date. We, no one really knows. But this is a moment to celebrate and particularly before the celebrations of a Christmas day as is common in, in our nation and many other nations but to just take this moment and still our hearts this evening because we are filled with joy and joy can have voluminous sound or can sit still within a person's heart but we are filled with joy because of the grace that we've experienced and we celebrate this evening with great expectation that our God and King Jesus has sent his grace and his grace is always towards us. So why don't you join us now for this beautiful carol, Joy to the World. Jesus, we thank you for all that you've done for us. How beautiful you are, the wonders of your grace and mercy. And this Eve, 
before many will be celebrating. Our hearts are positioned heavenward. I'm going to read to you from Isaiah chapter 9. I'm going to read from verse 6. It says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Father, we thank you for this glorious evening. Thank you, Lord, that surrounding us are so many signs that point to your wonder. And our hearts are filled with hope. And we thank you that you are the Prince of Peace. You truly are. And we come and we worship you this evening. We're going to continue to worship our God and our King as our musicians lead us. Praise you. 
Our second reading is from Luke, chapter 2, verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this, the things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. And so they hurried and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen which were just as they had been told our beautiful Saviour, born to us, the glory of God. We feel His presence. We're going to continue to worship in this next carol.
give. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. He cries, we are worthy for you. This has been a glorious night, a silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. My prayer for you and our whole team's prayer in our church for you is that this would be a precious season. All will be well. And in 2021, all will be bright. Because our Lord and Saviour is with us, Emmanuel. Born to us a King. And He silenced all noise, all strife, all trouble. My prayer too is that you would find some things that you really love and enjoy. Look after your soul. Laugh a bit. Go for some walks. Enjoy your friends and your family. And may you know the stillness that can only come from the Prince of Peace. And if you're with your family tomorrow on Christmas Day or maybe online again, then really open your heart to allow God, by His grace, to fill you with faith, hope and love. Hey, God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. God bless you.